we're now seeing combination strategies. Like for example, today in the early morning, we saw Nitin Jane's presentation of longer follow-up of patients treated with ibrutinib and venetoclax. And what he's seeing is that many of these patients are able to achieve MRD negativity, uh, both in the peripheral blood and in the bone marrow disease. And we so said, um, idea and concept of time-limited therapy. So what he noted in his uh, analysis is that some of the patients were not able to achieve a two years MRD negative state or undetectable disease and he might do a longer follow-up of um, maybe amending the protocol to add on another year to maybe see if those patients treated for a year longer then they are able to achieve undetectable MRD. Now then we saw Constantine Tan presenting data on the CAPTIVATE study, which is a frontline study combining Ibrutinib and Venetoclax for time-limited dosing. And um, again, we saw many of these patients were able to achieve undetectable MRD. So very similar results. And with that, we still don't know um, what is the best strategy, whether to do a time-fixed duration for all patients or maybe um, individualize to patients in, if they are able to achieve undetectable MRD, then maybe um, stop then. We don't know yet, so we're all targeting and trying different perspectives.